Hey kid, let's we're gonna um, we're gonna continue with three point two, uh, solving quadratic equations by factoring. Um, but before we move on to uh, just a whole bunch of examples, I think that we can benefit from that. I want to remind us that when we square um, a factor, how that works. So if I say x plus three squared, that means that we have x plus three times x plus 3. If I want to FOIL it out, I'll just do it this one time. x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. I would say that that is x squared plus 6x plus 9. We notice a few things when we do this. Every single time, and I've only done one example, but you can make up as many examples as you want. Every time, this term, the b term, is 2 times uh, the 3. And this constant term is this 3 squared. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'm going to give a question and do it the quick way. Oh, come back, 9. There you go. So if I were to give something like x minus 4, squared, I know that that is just going to be x squared minus 8x plus 16. 2 times negative 4 times uh, x, so negative 8x, plus 16, which is just negative 4 squared. What happens when we open up and say 2x plus 3? squared. Well, let's open it up and see how the, um, let's, or let's expand it out and see how the rules apply. 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. 2x uh, times 2x is 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 9. When I simplify it, it is 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Well, the 9 right here is the 3 squared, which comes from here. Now let me just highlight. Okay. The 4x squared just comes from 2x squared, which comes from here. The 12x squared comes from 2x times, or no, that's not helpful, 2x times 3 times 2, which is just 12x. So I can go from this step to this step super quick. So without expanding out, I'm going to go 4x minus 1 squared. I know that it's the first term squared, so 16x squared. I know that my other one is going to be negative 1 squared, so plus 1. My middle term is going to be 4x times negative 1 times 2, which is going to be negative 8x. And that's my answer. Now you can expand it out, but I just want to give this little video a little tip and trick on, uh, on how to expand out, um, yeah, on how to expand out uh, perfect square factors. Now what I want you to do is, if you feel like you could use practice on this, do the worksheet that I've left. If not, you can continue on to the next video.